Google uses DeepMind algorithms to dramatically boost energy efficiency in its data center across the globe. The researchers like Jerry Lou, Cosmin, Poduro, and their other colleagues at Google have trained and built a model which is shown on the screen that learned via reinforcement learning to control the chiller plants that cool large buildings. This research was also done by researchers from Train Technologies. Now, the way it worked is quite interesting. They have given lots of detail in this great paper, and I will drop the link in video's description. The way it works is that these researchers have built separate systems to control chiller plants in two large commercial facilities. Each system comprised an ensemble of vanilla neural networks plus a safety module that enforce safety constraints. Training took place in two phases. In the first, the ensemble trained on data produced by a heuristic controller. And then in the second, it alternated between training on data produced by itself and the heuristic controller. These authors, in, as part of this research, also collaborated with domain experts to determine a chiller plant's potential actions and states. And then these authors trained the ensemble on a year worth of data from chiller plant heuristic controller via reinforcement learning. And then for three months, they alternated between controlling the chiller plant using the ensemble for one day and the heuristic controller for the other day. They recorded the action and resulting states and added them to the training set. At the end of each day, they retrained the ensemble on the accumulated data. During this period, the safety module blocked the system from taking actions that were known to be unsafe and actions the ensemble predicted to result in an unsafe state. The results were amazing. For example, the model learned to produce colder water, which consumed more energy upfront, but reduced the overall consumption. So I believe that using reinforcement learning algorithms to control expensive equipment requires significant domain expertise, but with these sort of research and practical applications of this research into the industry is going to really help out, especially when you are combining generative AI with these sort of real world issues. So I hope that you found it interesting. As I said, I will drop the link to this abstract in video description and you can read the whole paper by downloading the PDF on the right hand side. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.